for your safety and comfort, I would like to bring the following to your attention. There are three exits in this venue, two emergency exits to the rear and one to my left. In the unlikely event of an emergency, we would ask you to proceed directly and calmly to the exit nearest to you. When exiting the building, you are asked to proceed to the assembly point, which is the car park on the east end of the building, which is to my right. We kindly request that you remain in your seats for the duration of the ceremony. Should you require to leave your seat, please use the exit nearest to you. Please note that smoking or vaping is not permitted in any area inside the college. In preparation for the ceremony, I would ask you to please turn off your mobile phones. As this event will be live streamed online and photographed, we kindly ask you to refrain from talking during the ceremony. If you can please stand for the graduate procession. the academic procession. Thank you.
be seated. Ian Erica, a green oishla, file to arrive. Could he in Sharmanisha in a run for a dove octony or the Dikish, a rave came out and collaged him? Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this graduation ceremony at which third level awards will be conferred on graduates of Griffith College, Cork. I'm also delighted to welcome graduates and their guests who are joining us today online. Our panel members include Professor Dermot Hegarty, President of Griffith College, Deputy Lord Mayor, Councillor Kieran McCarthy, Ronan Fenelon, Director of Griffith College, Noel Daly and Sinead O'Dea, Deputy Heads of Griffith College, Cork, along with the Heads of Faculty, Programme Directors, Faculty Lecturers, Dissertation Supervisors involved in the delivery of the College's programmes. I'm Dr. Thomas McGuckagon, the College's Director of Academic Programmes, and I have the pleasure of being your MC for this graduation ceremony. Contusa Coralesh de Himokdi, Irmanisher and Tolov Dermot Hegarty, Uchtaron Kalosh de Griefa, Lauritling Herkiana Kalosh I would like to begin the proceedings by inviting Professor Dermot Hegarty, President of Griffith College, to deliver a conferring address. Distinguished guests, colleagues, graduands, ladies and gentlemen. From time immemorial, the day of the harvest has always been a day of celebration, and for you, today is that day. The day in which the seed tentatively sown by you comes to full flower. Today, it's our pleasure and privilege to see you rejoice in its flower and savour its fruit. Uh, the growth period hasn't always been easy. Like any plant buffeted by the storms of daily life, there were times when hands, other than your own, tenderly nurtured its growth. The green figures to which I refer are those of families, partners, and friends who shared your trials and tribulations, prepared meals for you, put up with your inevitable but hopefully few cranky moods, and those who so readily accepted the stress that you were so relieved to pass on. Now, in the time on the tradition of Griffith College, I'm going to ask families, partners, and friends to, to stay seated while you, the graduates, stand up. Now, I want you, graduates, to turn to your parents, relatives, and friends behind you and express thanks for the support that you received over the years by acclamation, applause, cheers, or however you like. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> I guess you thought it was your day. <laughs> um, and I have to say that uh, I reminded of the fact of, on, on, a previous, on a previous ceremony, in fact, um, I was in this precisely this situation discussing with the graduates and discussing and assuring them it was their day, but then I had to be told five minutes later while they were still standing, maybe it'd be a good idea if you suggested they sit down. <laughs> so let me do that without delay. Now, please sit down. Um, so, it is your day, okay? Treasure a special moment. It will live vividly in memory for many years to come. An academic award is not an entitlement of rank or class. It is won through many hours of mental toil and diligent application. No one can take this from you. So wear your gowns with pride and hold your qualifications in the high esteem they deserve. As president of the college, you would wish me to acknowledge the contribution to your success of my colleagues as members of boards, uh, lecturers, administrators, librarians, and faculty members. I'm delighted to welcome our distinguished guests, 
Councillor Kieran McCarthy, Deputy Lord Mayor, and Captain Brian Fitzgerald, Deputy Deputing for President Rob Horgan of Cork Chamber of Commerce. Today, we gather not only to celebrate your success, but also to acknowledge the pivotal role that education plays in shaping a sustainable and prosperous future for us all. It's an honour to stand before you as founder of Griffith College as we mark our 50th anniversary, a legacy of excellence, innovation and impact created by the staff of Griffith College, which you now continue. We graduate this month a truly international group of graduates, and I wish to congratulate them and welcome their families in their own language. Estudantes Basileros y Portugueses, parabéns. Ecosis familiares e amigos, sean bienvenidos. Estudantes mexicanos, españoles, chilenos, panameños. Enhorabuena. Damos la bienvenida a vuestras, vuestros padres y amigos. Baharti chatro. Me apka or. Apke karwanunka swagart katahun. Ma piba de naja. How far? How are you doing? Congratulations for you study Noahala. For those who are not familiar with Nigerian, I've just said to the Nigerian students, for you study, no problem. Jungo Shushong, our Chinese students. Jinjian woman fitong ojing, who gojing juha nimen. Her huan ying nimen de jiajang he jing ao. Pelajar Malaysia. Tanya den semoga keluarga dan rakan rakan anda mengu kapan selamat datang. Can I actually, if I may, mention to you that my last ex uh, expedition into uh, uh, language in Malaysia, and it was actually when we uh, went to, stayed in a hotel, and uh, normally with, with the foresight that I usually ex uh, uh, exhibit when I'm staying abroad in a hotel and going out to enjoy the hospitality uh, uh, of friends, I, I normally make a point of taking down the name of the hotel so that I can give it to the taxi man and ensure a safe arrival uh, and a safe return. And this I did. And I wrote down what I understood to be the name of the hotel. Uh, and having left, in fact, the hostelry, uh, I returned, clutching to my breast carefully the name of the hotel, which I gave to the taxi man. And he <coughs> screamed. I, I got nothing but a stream of abuse from him because it meant nothing to him. So I asked him to drive around, and he drove around, and eventually I recognized, this, I saw a street that I recognized, and I was able to tell him, turn right, turn left, and eventually, half an hour later, we arrived back at the hotel. Uh, and then I went into the uh, lobby, and I said at the reception, well, what's the problem? What's the problem with your taxi man? And I gave them my handwriting, my handwriting, the, my understanding of the name of the hotel, and there it was, Hotel Kelluar. Now, the Malaysians among you will realize that Hotel Kelluar is actually the Malaysian for hotel exit. <laughs> 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 uh, which I had assiduously taken down, uh, and I, I was right, it was the hotel exit, but unfortunately it wasn't the hotel, the name of the hotel in which I was staying. So just to say to you, always be careful when you take expeditions into foreign language. For my Kenya or Kenyan students, one of Hunzi, wa Kenya, Hungara, Tulakar Bishi, wa Wuzazi, Wako, na Marafiki. And finally, I'm sure in actual fact, you're probably uh, uh, this uh, cautioning me not to continue, but let me say to the Miklin Eranakar Irish students, Fultakarda August Gwaeltakta. Um, I should say, and, and let us not stare, let us not stop there. My gut feeling is that, in fact, I think you're all saying, yes, definitely stop there. Um, but our alumni network stretches far and wide. 
It encompasses individuals who have made indelible marks in various fields. Together, we form a community of minds dedicated, dedicated to making a difference and to affecting change on a global scale. Don't hesitate to set your sights on the pinnacle of your profession. Many of our accounting and finance students, as well as business students, proceed to complete professional accounting examinations. And we're delighted to see the standards are set by your fellow alumni, who last year took 19 prizes, and so far this year, 16 prizes across all accounting body examinations. And these include a sixth and a seventh in the world uh, for ACCA from 542,000 students. Let's just be clear, let's just contemplate that for a second. Sixth and seventh in the world out of half a million students. That's some achievement. Uh, and uh, these, of course, half a million students came from 181 different countries. Uh, and they also include four first places in Ireland in the ACC exams and 12 first places in CPA exams in 2024. So, um, you know, you have, you have hard fought steps to follow. Um, I think we, we also want to be particularly proud on behalf of Karen Sutton and her team in the law faculty on receiving the accolades of Law School of the Year in 2024, Annual Law Award, and Best Student Experience Award in 2023, and I understand also in 2024. We also salute the law faculty on prizes won by students in the Law Society entrance exams. And we're also proud of our graduates from the design faculty who received the Institute of Designer Award for Fashion Textiles and a highly commended award in fashion design. But, you know, we're looking back over the last 50 years of Griffith College, but maybe you should cast your gaze forward over the next 50 years to the 21st century challenges that you will be facing, none of which is more pressing than climate change, such as Spain has recently experienced. And other effects include, other effects of climate change, that is include changes in wind speeds, storm tracks, water stress for crop, crops, pressure on water supply and, and quality, and possibly a third of the world's population living in Sahara-like conditions. Let's hope through Griffith College values of agility and adaptability, we would have equipped you to work together facing these challenges as a global community. But don't be paralyzed by worry. Worry is like a rocking chair. It distracts your mind, but never gets you anywhere. We are just birds of passage. And the Native Americans put it very well. They said, we do not inherit the earth from our ancestors. We borrow it from our children. And we have an obligation when we return it, to return it in good shape. Of equal concern must surely be the impact of conflicts such as in Ukraine, Lebanon, Gaza, and the West Bank, and Sudan, on the future of the planet. And what is happening there surely contains the seeds of repeated conflict. We fervently wish for peace, but wishing it is not enough. It falls to your generation, recognizing that life is precious, to eliminate the conditions such as poverty, disadvantage, discrimination, and civil strife, which lead to wars, and to create environments conducive to peace. It, that's very easily said. But take comfort in the global village you are creating, and in the valuable connections you have made. Your unprecedented access to knowledge means that you can see humanity's problems and the solutions that will work to solve them. You will also see how technology is being leveraged to address our greatest challenges Examples are renewable energy, carbon capture, and sustainable agriculture. But in searching for solutions, remember that mines are like parachutes. They function best when open. And thanks to medical advances, you will live longer than your parents. So as you embark on your journey, I encourage each of you to consider entrepreneurship. Not necessarily starting a business. Instead, even as an employer, think of entrepreneurship as a mindset a way of approaching challenges and seizing opportunities to create value, innovate, and make your mark. So remember to stay on track, but not for too long, in case you get run over by Dart or Lewis. That, of course, is a, is a, is a Dubliner's hazard. Uh, I'm not so sure that, in fact, uh, you're going to be deported to Dublin in the near future. 
but the road to success is dotted with many tempting but misleading parking places. And it isn't about having all the answers. It's about asking the right questions. It's about seeing a need and deciding, I can meet that need in a new way. Uh, as Reid Hoffman, co-founder of LinkedIn, said, an entrepreneur is someone who jumps off a cliff and builds a plane on the way down. Sometimes the best way to learn is simply by doing. Uh, like the Industrial Revolution, the Digital Revolution will change how we lead our future lives by combining human intelligence and artificial intelligence, leveraging the strengths of both humans and machines. There are predictions that digital technology could deliver download speeds of one terabyte per second. That means you could download 140 hours of Netflix in one second. Where you'll find the time to watch them will be another matter. Uh, maybe it might be time saved on house cleaning, which will be entirely done by robots. Artificial intelligence and big data and analytic tools will also improve personal lifestyles. Immersive virtual and augmented reality environments will also play a significant role in offering customers virtual personalized experiences. With the advent of virtual reality, web browsing companies will soon be able to blur the lines between physical and digital realms. Health technology will deliver virtual or digital, virtual stroke digital companions and carers, knowing our health intimately over our lifetime. Reproduction of vital organs will also be delivered, replacing damage or diseased, diseased organs exceeding the quality of the original organs. Humans will not do everything. Human activity will, oh, sorry, machines will not do everything. Human activity will be needed. Um, we must cultivate vibrant comp competition and entrepreneurial dynamism in small and medium-sized businesses. And this will act as a bulwark against undue influence in democracy by corporate giants, something we are always concerned about and see it in elections outside this country. Proper regulation of social media and financial markets will also be critical to ensuring that democratic politics and responsible business can thrive. Government will need to regulate and facilitate platform owners to take responsibility for the content they host because they are the ones profiting from it. We welcome today's graduates from Griffith College Professional Academy being awarded certificates and diplomas across a range of programs validated by QQI as micro-credentials or Griffith College and indeed the Institute of Commercial Management. Our graduates today have completed the Certificate of International Foundation Studies, a truly transformative program that requires exceptional commitment and resilience. And these graduates, these students who hail from diverse international backgrounds undertook the challenge of studying through English an additional layer that tested their, their dedication daily. They've excelled, showing not only academic growth, but also remarkable perseverance, adjusting to a new educational and cultural environment with tenacity. This program carefully designed to build the foundation skills necessary for third level education and has equipped them with both the academic and personal strength needed to success in to succeed in higher education. And as they move forward, we celebrate their readiness for the next steps in their academic journey, and their inspiring journey stands as a testament to the dedication our programs impact. You are graduating at a unique time in, in, in human history. The world ahead of you is filled with opportunities. Don't let anyone tell you it's too late or too soon to start something new. Don't let fear hold you back from making a difference. Always stay curious, keep learning, and never lose sight of your dreams. Follow them, but don't spend your life sleepwalking. The world needs your wide awake passion, your creativity, and your commitment to making it a better place. You will live longer, you'll see more, you'll be able to achieve things we can only dream about today, so make the most of it. As you step into this world of boundless potential, remember the words of Mahatma Gandhi, you must be the change you want to see in the world. The power to effect change lies within each of you. And I've no doubt that you will rise to the occasion, leaving an indelible mark on this world with brilliance, compassion, and unwavering determination. 
I want you to envisage the years when you will be the ones making the key decisions, the ones influencing the course of history. Your future might be Minister for Justice, might be Minister for State at the Department of Foreign Affairs. It might be Government Press Secretary, Managing Partner of KPMG, CEO of Citibank, Chief Financial Officer of Ryanair, first female jockey to win the Grand National, Dublin Chamber's youngest ever president, playing for Ireland in the Rugby World Cup, owner of Home Store and More, best-selling author or Love Island TV presenter. All of these functions, indeed many more, are or have been held by alumni of Griffith College. So you follow interesting footsteps. We must match your success with a future which you will be proud to call yourselves Griffith, a Griffith graduate. You and your successors as Griffith students have every right to equal access to government educational funding. And you're entitled to ask, why have the civil service not accepted the recommendation of the Oireachtas Committee on Education to give private higher education students means-tested SUSE grants? Why is the case-by-case -case application for disability support required by our students and not automatic, as in the case of public sector students? Does disability itself not create a right for unqualified support? <laughs> Nothing is achieved without stress and strain. When you get to my age, you greatly value diminishing memory capacity. And I recall the memory difficulties of a colleague who sat in a restaurant with his wife trying to recall the name of a restaurant where they had eaten in the previous week. He called the waitress over and asked her, tell me the name of a flower. To which she said, rose. He said, no. She then said, tulip. He said, no. And then she said, lily. And he said, ah, yes, that's it. And he turned to his wife and said, lily, what was the name of the restaurant in which we ate last week. <laughs> I could see from our graduates that's, that that situation is quite unthinkable. <laughs> the rest, the rest is belonging to a different <laughs> to a different generation. It's actually quite possible, <laughs> albeit unthinkable. Um, anyway, I hope that in fact all of you will understand from this the stresses and strains undergone by students and lecturers at exam time. As you leave Griffith today, remember you are not alone. You are part of a community that spans continent, a legacy that spans generations. Draw strength from your alma mater, from the knowledge you are equipped not only with the skills and expertise to excel, but the wisdom to lead with integrity and purpose. You are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars you have a right to be here. With all its sham, drudgery, and broken dreams, it's still a beautiful world so be cheerful and strive to be happy. And all the graduates may express the hope that over your period with us, Griffith College will have found a place in your hearts as you have in ours. I want you to know you're always welcome on campus, socially, educationally, or just to update us on your success by showing off the new BMW. <laughs> may I conclude by congratulating you again on your success and wishing that you may harness the knowledge and experience you've acquired in Griffith College to achieve what you richly deserve, a successful and fulfilling career. Or in the words of the W. B. Yeats poem, The Song of Wandering Angus, Angus, may you pluck till time and times are done the silver apples of the moon and golden apples of the sun. Congratulations. <laughs>
Uh, I can tell you that by trade, um, I work as a story collector of Cork. I collect histories on Cork, uh, and it's histories, it's neighbourhoods, it's people. It's something that I, I research every day. And for me, I adore reading about Cork, and I'm, a, I'm, I'm kind of infected by the passion in the city and the Corkonianness of the city. Uh, and my dear friends, um, they say that stories have the power to stop someone, uh, to impress someone. So, for example, this gorgeous former chapel that we're in that kind of was open in 1909 uh, was funded by a, a local resident, uh, a lady called Isabella Honan, uh, who managed to find herself in a, in a good bit of money, um, but had a huge interest in kind of charitable causes. Uh, and when she passed away in her will was, here was money for this kind of gorgeous um, chapel. Um, she also was involved in funding the gorgeous Honan Chapel uh, in UCC. Um, and every piece of this former chapel, its stained glass windows, its sanctuary, its timber balcony, the organ, uh, just the ornateness of it, um, it just shines out and it impresses you. The craftsmanship just impresses you. Um, and some stories uh, in Cork, they kind of make you question how something came into being. Um, there are three buildings of interest uh, on this particular campus, which the graduates would have discovered uh, by, by, by their time actually spent here. Uh, the first is the old St. Patrick's Hospital, um, which was actually, was more it was, there was money given uh, to establish a, a hospital for cancer patients, for Roman Catholic cancer patients uh, in 1870 by a, a local doctor inside of town. Uh, he had a huge time for the Sisters of Charity within the city. He left money in his will, uh, but he left enough money just to build the four walls. And so when the hospital opened in September 1870, there was no windows and doors. Uh, they had to fundraise for the windows and doors, to put the windows and doors in. But the first cancer patient kind of arrived and the, the, the hospital went on its own journey. Seven years later, um, John Nicholas Murphy, so Murphy's, they were brewers in the city, they were, they were a wealthy kind of Roman Catholic kind of family. Uh, they actually built an orphanage and just on the left of, the, of the, this kind of building here is the remains of the, the old uh, orphanage in itself. Um, and I, the orphanage was going to help, supposed to help kids that were destitute. That was kind of it, it, its ethos, and then went on its journey um, doing that. So between the chapel, the old hospital, and the old orphanage, there's just a fantastic series of stories that um, they do kind of reach out to you, they do kind of make you one question. Um, also, stories can kind of make you remember. Um, there are interesting plaques around all of the buildings which encourage you to reflect on the history of the three buildings. Um, and it's not just the older history, uh, it's also the newer history, the advent of Griffith College and also the temporary premises of the Cork Educate Together Secondary School. But of course, remembering uh, and telling stories leads to further stories that can make you wonder. Uh, can make you dream about the sense of hope in these old buildings that used to exist here, uh, make you explore, make you curious, uh, and if you're dealing with an old cancer hospital, make you disturbed. Uh, and there are many, many stories on this campus that have um, just, they're not, they're not spoken about. Um, 20 years ago, I was tasked to write a history on St. Patrick's Hospital, and I was given the minute books of the hospital to read through, and they dis the stories disturbed me. Um, but with any given story that you research, there's always a whole series of kind of different emotions um, and that are very, very powerful and kind of reach out to the human condition, so to speak. But why do I tell you these stories? Um, because you sit here in the midst of these swirl of stories um, from the past. Um, the story of the chapel, the historic campus, but you are here to add to another step in your story or your personal journey, so to speak. And today is about you fulfilling another plot line or subplot um, in your own storyboard of life. And on your storyboard today, it is emotional. It is about endurance. The same themes that the buildings here have spoken about for years. Uh, and our graduation ceremony today highlights that your story matters. And yes, the ceremony is about you finishing your course successfully, but it's also about your endurance and your journey and themes which the buildings really embrace here. And I have no doubt as you sit here this afternoon listening to the speakers asking, when will they finish? And um, when will I get my certificate? Um, but you're probably thinking as well, well, what am I going to do with the certificate? Like, what's the next plot line? What's the next story that I actually have to kind of t to pursue? What is my evolving personal storyline? Uh, and that creates its own message. Um, and very much my first short message to you this afternoon um, is keep, please, please, please keep building the best version of your story whatever that may be, the best version of your story. Build a story that's going to impress you, stop you, make you wonder, make you dream, bring you hope, make you curious, and above all, make you disturbed. 
that you're going to move on your disturbance. Um, so be the best version of your story is my first thing I want to say to you. My second thing I want to say to you um, is that the location that we're in, high on this kind of northern ridge, um, you kind of look down the city and the scenery, it's quite beautiful. I've no doubt that after the ceremony, you'll take photographs outside and it'll be the backdrop of the city um, or the backdrop, backdrop of this storyline and that you're actually creating. And we're very, very lucky in Cork. It's built on a marshland. Its foundations are strong. Its foundations are actually deep. And one could speak for hours and hours and hours in the city's swirl of stories. This corner is just one chapter of that or one subplot. Um, but I, today I've brought you one story from the city, and it's actually on the chain that I'm wearing. Um, this is the Deputy Lord Mayor's chain, and even on the real Lord Mayor's chain um, is an emblem of the city, um, the city's coat of arms. Um, and in your travels in the city, in, in the city, in your travels to your college here, I've no doubt you, you saw different emblems of the city's kind of coat of arms. But it's two towers and a ship in between, uh, and there's a Latin inscription, kind of statio bene fide carinus, which translated means a safe harbour for ships. A safe harbour for ships. But in the world that we live in, one could also argue that a place like Griffith College, the city of Cork, is perhaps a safe harbour not just for ships, but actually for people. Uh, and indeed, on the medallion itself, there's actually a, a three-masted ship. Um, and our coat of arms is, for this city is actually 400 years old, but it was only formally registered 75 years ago this year. 75 years ago this year. But the three-masted ship, the three-masted ship is in full sail. It's always shown in full sail, and energy behind it, uh, there's a crew behind it. Uh, and my gut is that when they were designing this, one of the, one of the, the mottos or one of the meanings kind of be behind this kind of three-masted ship is that um, they wanted to show that the city of Cork and its Corkonians were a strong kind of group of people. Um, but also, also, they're also kind of connected. If they didn't work together, um, the ship actually kind of wouldn't move actually forward. Um, and in a city such as Cork, it's a really small place. Like, we're all connected in kind of some shape or form. You can walk down St. Patrick Street, you can walk around the area, you're going to meet people that you know. So connections actually matter in Cork. But my dear friends, uh, in a world where we find ourselves in war and climate change and where positive societal values such as equality are threatened, like, building positive connections even matter more more so than ever before. And there's an onus on you, on me, on the people that sit up, sit up here that to connect to all the stories kind of around you. There's no point you going on a solar run with your own story and building the best version of your story. You have to connect, connect to the version of the stories around you as well. Your energy, enthusiasm, and idea will, ideas will inform the present and future of this beautiful safe harbour for ships we're in, or wherever you find your safe harbour. Uh, as the years kind of progress. So my second message to you um, is to connect to the stories all around you. Um, and your story can only be enhanced by your own actions. And my third message um, is that as I look down, this is a very special day for you, and major congratulations. Um, and when you come up here to take your certificate, one of the things I'd like you to do actually is to smile. And my third message is for you to smile. Um, this is your moment. Take your moment. You may never get another certificate in life again. Or you might get seven or ten more certificates in life again. But this is your moment, and enjoy this moment. You have worked so hard to get here. So my dear friends, let me conclude my sermon here today. Um, my first message, keep building the best version of your story. Second message, continue to connect to the stories all around you. And my third message, Please smile and enjoy your afternoon and your evening party, wherever, whatever happens um, after this. Garamila Magov. Anish Kowalam Fodja Karoiv, Gideon Kridden Okoid, in a run for a colleague, the Nashunta, August Idernashunta, or Viklain and Kalashta. I now welcome you to the part of our proceedings at which national and international awards will be conferred on graduates of the college, and I declare open this awards ceremony. Iremar and Tolov Jim Hegarty, Uktharon Kalosh Jigrifa, Collier the Noshunta, Agus Idernoshunta, Avrona, Ernarev Kema, and Tother Herbert Egan Galoshta. I call upon Professor Jim Hegarty, President of Griffith College, to confer awards on the graduates of this college presented by the college for that purpose. Now, uh, before I confer the award, let me explain the significance of this moment. Um, all of you will be well aware of the fact that you have won your awards and won them through hard work, 
and continuous application and are submitting yourselves continually to assessments and be successful in those assessments. So no question about it, these awards are yours. But there is a moment when we officially actually recognize that. We officially, in fact, recognize all that you've done and all that you deserve by actually conferring the degrees or, or diplomas, or whatever the award that you're entitled to, conferring that upon you. And this is that moment, okay? So it, it, and it's a very formal moment. I'm going to, first of all, to actually uh, confer the awards in the Irish language, and then uh, secondly, I will do it in English, it's not. Everybody, every one of our graduates is a fluent Irish speaker. Hakan Kiloshta i Grifa, Agus Korla Diavu, Kalikta Agus Kalikta Erin. Brunum Kalikti, a Fialamor and Kiloshta, a Win Kaidanamach, Elekna Kalikti, Agus Irum Gurtur, Nefialamor, a Fame of Rod, Kondrafedalam, a good par, a Herbert Oiv, Gaformu. In English. On behalf of Griffith College and Quality and Qualifications Ireland, I hereby confer the awards on the learners of the college who have achieved the standards determined for those awards. And I ask that those learners be presented to me so that I may formally present them with their parchments. Congratulations, graduates. <laughs> Irminish er Martin Plachetka, Stuart O'Hore Clore, Lawrence Leonard Kamaha. I call upon Martin Plachetka, Programme Director, to address the graduates, and Martin Plachetka is doing so in respect of the graduates from the Griffith Institute of Languages programmes. Graduates of the Certificate in International Foundation Studies, President, Registrar Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. It is my great privilege to be here today to celebrate you, our graduating class. This program has served as a bridge, connecting your past experiences with the challenges and excitement of higher education. You have shown immense dedication and resilience, especially as many of you have adjusted not only to a new academic system, but to life in a new country. You should be very proud of yourselves for everything you have achieved. Your success is reflected in the path you are now ready to take. I am delighted to see so many of you progressing to further studies both here at Griffith College Cork and Dublin, and beyond to respected institutions across Ireland, the UK, and the Netherlands, including University College Cork, Monster Technological University, Trinity College Dublin, Dundalk Institute of Technology, Southeast Technological University, Atlantic Technological University, Maria Montessori Institute London, University of Birmingham, and University of Twente. Your achievements highlight not only your dedication, but also the high standards we aim to uphold in this program. I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to our lecturers, who have provided invaluable support and inspiration, and to the entire team here in Cork whose tireless efforts have enriched this journey for all of you. Congratulations once again, graduates. We, all incredibly, we are all incredibly proud of you, and we look forward to seeing what the future holds as you continue your studies and pursue your dreams. Thank you. President, I, I present to you the following candidates 
who have successfully completed the Certificate in International Foundation Studies program and who are worthy of the QQI awards and I request you to present their parchments to them. Muhammad Ahmad Alim. Hanin Anasar. Akram Sadiq Bachu. Arisha Nur Sabrina Binti Ahmad Saleh. Cecil Blairback. Debra Bodunde. Inas Daher. Caitlin Gonzalez.
Kenan Kamiri. Anastasia Kazak. Pain Te Mu Kin. Solomon Kipkoske. <laughs> Bethany Eve Ong. Jonathan George Ongodia. <laughs> Mandeep Singh. Wei Hong Tan. Irminish er Brian O'Grady. Stuart Hor Clore, Lars Leonard Kamaha. I call upon Brian O'Grady, Programme Director with the College's Business Faculty, to address the graduates and to present graduates in respect of the College's degree in accounting and finance. <clears throat> President, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, over the past few years in Griffith College, we've been radically improving how we deliver our teaching to our learners. And students can now access their entire courses and readings online in a single location through our learning management system, Moodle, uh, where they can share learnings and check their knowledge and progress and access previous exams and answers. And lectures are recorded 
and often stream to students so they can access their classes in their own time anywhere. But for all these improvements to learners' experience, the fundamental equation that underpins all the qualifications being awarded to our graduates here today is the sheer effort and work that enables them to achieve them. All today's graduates have worked very hard for three years to achieve the internationally recognised qualifications they're being awarded with here today. One such student is the highest achiever in our accounting and finance degree, Richard Morrison, who still preferred his lectures live and in person in the college to online, and as a result travelled 100 kilometres from Clonmel to Cork and back three times a week to gain his first class honour. None of today's graduates have achieved their qualification without similar effort, planning and sacrifices, as all their families will testify to. It has been an honour for me, as their programme director and lecturer, to help them achieve this through their own hard work, and to have seen them progress through their degrees to earn the hard-earned qualifications they are being awarded with here today. President, I present to you the following candidates who have completed the bachelor's degree in accounting and finance program and are worthy of their QQI awards. Vanessa Aquino de Silva. Jacob back. Sorry. Jay got back. Michael Enrique Batista Nunes. <laughs> Norella Fika Binti Mohammed Aida. Nuel Safifra Binti Zulkelski. Amanda Cesar Barreto. Erika Kuna da Silva. Daniela da Costa Mello.
Rosalindo Rosario Santana. Mohammed Hassan. <laughs> Valerie Grace Gia Wimblem. Amirul Shuzani bin Mahadi. Gift Peace Mandiwa. Terry Eman Uni Binti Megat Ramli. Mohammed Adam Shah Mohammed Faisal. <coughs> Mohammed Alif Danish Maud Naha. Richard Morrison.
Nuha Rahim. Amy Reardon. Erika Valdez Padilla. Marcel Vieira. Irminish er Kate Rellis, Stuarhor Clore, Lawrence Leonard Kamehu. I call upon Kate Rellis, Program Director with the College's Business Faculty, to address the graduates and pre to present graduates in respect of the College's Business Studies Degree Program and Professional Diploma Programs. Good afternoon, graduates, friends, family, faculty members, and everyone who joins us here today. On behalf of the Faculty of Business and Breed, it is an incredible honor to stand here with you today. Breed, who taught many of you, could not be here in person, but is watching the live stream and sends her warmest congratulations. She spoke with pride about how she watched you transform your initial business plan ideas into fully developed plans, each reflecting the diversity and energy of the Irish economy. You have each accomplished so much during your time here at Griffith College Cork. Your time here was not about just completing assignments. It was about pushing boundaries, discovering your strengths, creating memories, and developing relationships, as well as finding out what truly drives you. I hope these years have been as meaningful and enriching for you as they have been inspiring for those lecturers gathered here today who had the privilege of teaching you. Graduates, we are so proud of you, your friends, family, and everyone here at Griffith College Cork. As Henry David Theroux once said, go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you have imagined. You are ready to take on that journey, and we cannot wait to see the amazing things that you accomplish. President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed programs in the Bachelor of Arts Honours in Business and the Professional Diplomas in Business Management and Human Resource Management who are worthy of their QQI awards. Thank you. Bachelor of Arts Honours in Business, Brian Barry.
Ivana Bankova. Natalia Carolina Carvajal Abarca. Fiona Clinton. Jason Kremen. <laughs> Maria Fernanda Cruz Salas. Brendan Daly. Owen Dorgan. <laughs> Anya Fitzgerald. Zhao Yi Gan. Edwina Gavin. <laughs> Mary Lou Hall. 
Matthew Geary. Alana Good. <laughs> David Granjas. Owen Horgan. Aideen Kelly. <laughs> Abigail Murray. David O'Sullivan. James Peter O'Sullivan. Diana Yvette Ruvalcaba Juarez. <laughs> Professional Diploma in Business Management, Jason O'Callaghan. Professional Diploma in Human Resource Management, Sandra Flanagan Corcoran. <laughs> Catherine Hegarty.
Liana Hennessy. Sandra Majarovic. Leah Zemp. Current Shaw Creek, the Brunnan and of Octony. And as we conclude our conferring of awards, I'd like to invite everyone here to give a special round of applause to all our graduates here and online. And this can go to Douche of Runner or Kemi of Win or Kaidanamok in the Good Lane. The college now has the pleasure of announcing the Student of the Year Award. This prize is a campus wide award across all of the programmes delivered in Griffith College, Cork. This is our second graduation ceremony today, when we will have three today. This Student of the Year is awarded in respect of a student in this graduation ceremony who completed the BA Honours in Business. I call upon Professor Dermot Hegarty, and President of the College, and Noel Daly, Deputy Head of Griffith College, Cork, to jointly present the prize. The Student of the Year is awarded to Abigail Murray. Ian Erica, a green Ushler, Curran Creek, Lesh and Sharman Isha, Kondov Octony of Runner, or Kamehun Kloster, Bermuid Buikas Live Galair. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the ceremony for the purpose of conferring awards on the graduates of the college. Our best wishes and thanks to you all. This year marks the 50th anniversary of Griffith College since its foundation in 1974. During these years, we're delighted to have graduated over 40,000 graduates with nationally and internationally accredited awards across a wide range of disciplines in accountancy, business, computing, design, drama, education, engineering, healthcare, journalism and media, law, music technology, pharmaceutical business and technology, and the visual and creative arts. 
While today's graduates are with us, I'd like to take this opportunity to briefly mention the Griffith College Alumni Network. With Griffith College graduates living in Ireland, Europe, and in over 120 countries worldwide, the network is an excellent way to stay in touch with classmates, fellow graduates, and the college. The network is also proving to be a valuable resource for recent graduates seeking or changing employment. We're also delighted to see our graduates from earlier years using it to recruit Griffith graduates to meet their own organization's needs. Details about the network are on GriffithAlumniNetwork.com and on the college's website. On behalf of the college, we would like to invite all of the guests of the graduates here today to enjoy some refreshments immediately afterwards in the student lounge on the first floor of the East Campus. And our staff will direct you there immediately after this ceremony. We would ask the graduates to oblige us for a few more moments of their time while we capture in photographic form just how lovely you look today. Once the photographs have been taken, the graduates can rejoin their guests and celebrate their achievements together in style. For now, we wish you every joy and happiness in celebrating your success with your close friends throughout the, the day and evening. As a token, we have small boxes of chocolates for everyone as we head our separate ways. Please stand for the academic procession. <laughs> 